breaking down the Lions draft. Pick. I'll get you. We'll do a remote setup at Woodford Reserve Distillery. We'll go right out on the front lawn. It'll be amazing. They got a nice front porch out there. We'll do the show live. Nobody will know who the hell we are. It'll be fantastic. Random people doing the show. Right. <laughs> Is it going to be like Radio Row? We're going to get horses coming by, stopping in, giving us the updates. Sure. Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll go right on over to Hill, this we'll, jockey. You know what? We're going live from Hillendale Farms. We're going to have a sit down with Curlin. We're going to take him right out of the stall. <laughs> Let me tell you about my jockey. He was drunk last night when he was out. Yeah, he was drunk. Curlin, we heard you had a busy year in the breeding shed. How's the Nana this season? Uh, she set me up. <laughs> Someone does have a serious question, though. It says, you're mentioning Harold Landry. Your thoughts on Hassan Reddick. Any interest there? Don't hate it. Once Arizona finally moved, well, they, then he went to Carolina. But once, once he moved outside where he belonged, that's why they drafted him. I don't know why you drafted an edge and moved him to the middle. David, I'm fine with some teams. This. Some teams think that they can just do that. Sign Jeffrey Clement to Let's go over to Chris, 97. What's up, Chris? Yeah, of course. Championship week and all that good stuff. 
21 and up present Michigan first online real money wager only refund issued non withdrawable site credits expire 14 days no you're not trading with the Giants restrictions apply sportsbook.fanduel.com leave my Giants alone gambling problem 1-800-270-7117 it's FanDuel the official partner of the ticket 97.1 WWJEM 950 Traffic Center. This report brought to you by Basements Plus. There's an accident in 59 Westbound just before Elizabeth Lake Road in Waterford. Backups continue from Telegraph. Drivers are being detoured. Another accident still working on the 75 northbound entrance ramp from McNichols. We've all witnessed what the changing weather has done to the roads. Well, it can do the same to your basement. If you notice water getting in through cracks, rod holes, or other areas, contact Basements Plus for all of your basement needs. Visit basementsplus.com. That's basementsplus.com. I'm Michelle Pena with traffic. Now at T-Mobile, you can get the incredible iPhone 13 on us on the network with more 5G bars and more places. This is the year, Amelia. The year I become a famous influencer. Oh, uh, yeah, why's that? I just got the new iPhone 13 at T-Mobile. It has the most advanced dual camera ever on an iPhone. So my videos and photos are gonna look amazing. And check it out. I have 5G, even out here. Oh. I'll be able to post tons of content. Plus, influencers gotta stay fresh, you know? Nice. So, where are you gonna learn to sing or dance or something? Better. Yodeling. Ooh, let's hike up that hill and do a live stream. Yodeling. Uh, Thanks. Get into T-Mobile today, because when you switch, you can get the new iPhone 13 on us on every plan with eligible trade. All on T-Mobile's 5G network, with more 5G bars in more places. Only a 24 monthly bill credits with qualifying new line plus tax for all qualified customers. Contact us before canceling service to continue remaining bill credits or credit stop and balance and required finance agreements due. T-Mobile is America's largest 5G network. Details at T-Mobile.com. In a world where single touch can threaten the services of your home, there's Michael Band 24. Just one spray fights bacteria all day. Bacteria incoming. Shields up, defender. When used as directed, Microband 24 Sanitizing Spray forms a defensive shield that keeps killing 99.9% .9 of bacteria for up to 24 hours. Touch after touch. Direct eliminated. Microband 24. Don't just sanitize it. Microband it. Now spraying in a store near you. Look at this. JD Power awarded Cricket number one customer service and purchase experience in the MVNO segment. Huh. Award-winning service has a nice ring to it. Say it again. Award-winning service. <laughs> again. Hear ye, hear ye. Announcing two more reasons to switch to Cricket and their award-winning service. Wow, it does have a nice ring to it. Switch and see for yourself. For J.D. Power 2022 Wireless Customer Care and Purchase Experience Mobile Network Operator Performance Studies Award Information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. I am Claire, and I am human, ambitious, curious, interesting. Flagstar Bank is interested in me, because Flagstar is powered by something called the human interest rate. It inspires financial solutions made for me and you. And it's why Flagstar happens to be one of America's best banks, according to Forbes. Flagstar Bank, the power of the human interest rate. Learn more at flagstar.com slash human. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. See an edge in a game that you're watching is your favorite player prime for a big second half. What if you could build your parlay live while watching the game and boost it? Now you can. Introducing PointsBet's new exclusive feature, Live NBA Same Game Parlay. For the first time ever, build the perfect live same game parlay only with PointsBet. Combine your favorite bets anytime during the game, including spreads, totals, player props, and more. Cash in on a comeback. Turn player performance in the payouts and even increased profits with same game parlay boosts. Watch live, parlay live, and boost live with PointsBet. Download the PointsBet app today. Use code MICHIGAN2K to get two risk-free bets up to $2,000. So what are you waiting for? It's time to elevate your live betting game. Once the game starts, don't just bet. Live your bet life with PointsBet. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-270-7117. Now, text or call the ticket using the same number. Ticket text 248-539-9797. All right, on a very, very newsy day, there's still a lot more to talk about with football. David, music, blitz. And I have today's forecast for you. Hi, we come into it. I couldn't care less. 
Thompson, but the team's struggling. I think it's a turducken. It is a turducken. All right, David. So, franchise tag stuff aside, what do we have? Let's just rock and roll with this. I want to focus on the team that has the first overall pick in the draft because they've done something today, tag-wise, that is... It kind of leads me to where they might go in the draft. Jags, tag, offensive tackle, Cam Robinson. I'm surprised. I'm shocked by it. But does this ramp up the Aiden or Tibbs to the Jags at number one overall? I think it does. I mean, they're franchising their left tackle. You have a bunch of guys that could have gone first, and they're saying we're happy with what we have. Yeah, I think you're probably looking at Aiden because – we had all these great scores that maybe Jacksonville said, why don't we just take the guy? Well, here's the other thing. Aiden would be set up for success in Jacksonville because of who plays opposite him, Josh Allen. They would be attempting to build, remember the Broncos used to have DeMarcus Ware and Von Miller both in their prime? Yeah. You know, the idea of Josh Allen and Aiden, or Josh Allen and Thibodeau being that dual edge threat. Maybe that's what they're doing. David, I don't think you're wrong for thinking. Let's focus here on the running back position, okay? Because you always talk about should they a running back. Let's talk about two teams that may be doing something with their running back, or maybe not. Cowboys, they're set to release Amari Cooper, set to possibly release Demarcus Lawrence because he refused to take a pay cut. Yep. The thing with the running back here is it looks like Zeke ruined their cap. Why would you ever sign a running back? They <laughs> ruined the cap. Go now on. they have to get rid of two oh, guys. Go ahead. Drop that in his lap. Go ahead. Danny Warbucks over here loves paying running backs. Hey, didn't I just say like 30 or minutes ago, you have gone to rehab, use the Odyssey Rewind and right. listen to what I had to say. No, it's the truth. But at the time, Jerry Jones thought that Dallas was right there and they were going to win, and he pushed his chips in because Zeke was that guy. The thing is, when Zeke gets like 100 yards, they, they got this great record, except Correct. Zeke hasn't hit 100 yards consistently in a long time. Either he's hurt or he's just not that good. So, but yeah, they're, they're on the hook for him. Yards per carry has gone down every year since he entered the league. Oh, by the way, you want to drive the point home that you never should pay a running back? Carolina very publicly and openly admitting they are fielding offers for Christian McCaffrey. And that was my next story because they're saying they would take a first-round pick. I, I bet get they it. would. I get they would, but would you give up a first-round pick for that? No. Nope. Off injured 25-year-old running back? No, I, I love Christian McCaffrey, but what did they win with him? And what – look, here's how I'd phrase it. Running backs don't impact winning they don't get the quarterback. They don't protect the quarterback. There's, only, there's, a, there's one team, Mike, I'm telling you, that I would do it because I don't think it's going to cost them much. Buffalo? Buffalo. What would it cost you? Pick 28, 29? All right. Rico, if they could do it with the cap, I'm not going to. But, but, again, that's a unique. They've been to the AFC title game. They, they feel like they right, should be the Super Bowl. To me, okay. that's the only okay. one. And the deal is probably going to be very Buffalo heavy. A like borderline second-round pick? Yeah. So, yes, but David, no, I wouldn't do it. Why would I do that when I could take a running back in the third round? I just, it's, it, the game has changed. Speaking of changing the game, Aaron Rodgers has got his $50 million per year contract today, apparently saying he did not sign it. Let's talk about a guy who does make an impact in the game that should get a contract extension this offseason, and that's Aaron Donald, not a quarterback. They're looking to give him a contract extension should they make him the highest paid player in the NFL. I'm going to say something, and then I'm going to duck. But considering they haven't had a first-round pick since 2018, and considering they have to re-sign Stafford, and their cap is about to explode, there's a very good chance this team gets bad quick. I, I don't know that you don't look at, hey, what would you give me for dot, dot, dot. Eventually, the music stops, and you could pay Aaron Donald $25 million no, 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 a year, the, but I, I don't know, man. I'm not going to throw anything at you because that's a team thinking fiscally looking at the future. Now, a lot of teams can't do that. A lot of teams, they get drunk off the power and the winning. David, look at your Steelers. 
They should have made that choice a long time ago with Roethlisberger, but they kept it. We're so close, though. We're so close. You, you saw that with the wings here, where, you know what? Mike Illich got addicted to winning, and he killed on the guys way too long. Yes, it would be very smart because Stafford's deal is coming up. I was joking, but I wouldn't re-sign him. I, maybe you make a push one more year. Guys, we're going to try and run this back That's like fine. the Bucks did. That's fine. And then after that, everybody say their goodbyes. And remember, we're going to way of Seattle. I know it seems like yesterday that Aaron Donald came into the league. He's damn near 30. Right. Like, was it the 13 draft? I think it was 10 or 11, man. Seriously. I think it was the 13. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I don't know. I've kind of blacked out the last decade. The, time. the Giants have been horrible. But no, I get it. But I, I understand something. You will have to pay him 20-something million dollars a year into his mid-30s for a team that in all likelihood is going to take major steps backward. That's a very difficult choice. You're right, because with no draft picks, you don't even have that guy that you control for five years. He catches up with you. Yeah. And he went all in for Odell. All in That's for what I said. If I'm the Rams, man, I'm, I'm, everybody, win your deals. And then we're going to break this thing up. I go to Aaron and say, here's 40 million bucks. You play with the cap. Here's, here's a one-year pop, and then we'll figure it out. Yeah, I don't know. Tough, tough caller. I want to localize this next story here. Aaron Wilson of Pro Football Network reported George Karloftis had 18 formal interviews at the Combine, including the Lions and the Eagles. If you're the Lions and you do Rico's scenario of getting Jordan Davis at two, do you dare trade 32 and 34 to get ahead of the Eagles to get George Karloftis? No, no. David, that, that was easy. Yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> there's too many people out there. This, this is one of those rich drafts where, man, if you miss out on this one, just wait. Somebody else will be just as good who failed as you're like, wow, I can't believe this guy is sitting right there. Because, okay, you're sitting there at 32 and you realize, has anybody drafted the Kobe Dean? No? Let's just go ahead and take him. That's right. Yeah, David, here's the other thing. You got to look at it as keeping 32 and 34, I get <coughs> 10 years total roster control over two dirt cheap contracts versus balling it up giving away five years of that and getting one guy. I, mean, I don't think Karloftis is a long way away from that one guy. Right. right, a year from now, we might have a different conversation. Let's talk about Tyron Matthew. He is expected to be a free agent. They will not tag him according to reports. And I'm laughing at this one. Apparently there's mutual interest between him and the Saints. There's there's no cap room in New England. I mean, in, in New Orleans. Orleans. Yeah. But what happens with Tyron Matthew? What would be a great spot for him? Because he needs to go to a winning team. Well, he needs to be able to freelance. Yeah. He needs to be able to play his brand. Very Troy Palomalu-esque. you got to just give him a little bit of creative license. I mean, David, look, the other thing Steve Spagnola does and the other thing they did in Houston when he was there and they did in Arizona when he was there, it's got to be a blitz-heavy scheme. It's got to be a pressure scheme. Uh, I can't give you some team that's this perfect fit. He could want to go to New Orleans, but I agree with you. They ain't got no money, man. I, I know a safety that they can replace out in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, Jaquiski Tart, everybody. <laughs> no, nah, and, and they, they put a lot of pressure on the QB. If he wants to do a one-year deal, I'd take him there. Tart. There's a door. You would take him in San Francisco. That would be perfect for you. Next. Let's, 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 let's close it out with this because we've been talking a lot about Aaron Rodgers. And the Russell Wilson news today. Yeah. But there's one team that was involved in Wilson, but they did not get him, and that's the Washington Commanders. Yeah. According to reports last week, they had a lengthy list of 40 quarterbacks that they discussed. They went all through leagues, calling teams, seeing if they're available. What happens with Washington? They've been left behind here. I'll tell you what, there's, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you first. There's a reason for that, David. That, that's just a bad organization, and from the owners down, you really don't know what you're getting. Actually, you do know what you're getting yourself into. And if you're a quarterback and you have options, that's not one of my options right there. Because Russell apparently chose right. Denver over Washington. Right, because I don't need to be a part of some scandal. I don't need to see all of this other stuff. I know it keeps getting swept aside, but man, there's a lot going on in Washington. And I think that's why. And then, honestly, I think their owner's an idiot. Let me help you with what's going to happen. And I'll put it on our big board that doesn't exist. 
with the number 11 selection in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Washington Commanders select Malik Willis slash Kenny Pickett. They got to go all in and take one of these bums. That's it. They're pot committed. And if you want to know if a team's going to move up to take a QB, that's the team. Because if they were willing to give up assets to get a veteran, they're going to have to do it to get a rookie. You cannot enter another football season with the Bobby Heineke's of the world. You just, it's, it's, come on, enough. They got to go and try it again. And Ron Rivera today publicly quoted as a big fan of Malik Willis. I mean, is there anybody else who wants a QB? I guess maybe Carolina. Maybe Carolina. You know what's going to happen, right? Eventually, the GM has to meet.